Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by JRM1 CC. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how you can make your own, I mean, how you can create an image in a text, how you can make image go in the text. I like this, I'm going to show it to you. So, where's my Photoshop? Right here. So, today we're using Photoshop. So, as you can see, this text that here says video RM, there's image inside the text as you can see it right here so that's what we are going to do today that's what I'm going to show you I'll do it ok now let's go ahead and click file new now you can make any kind of image like the size the height the the height and the wide you can make the size whatever you want I mean you can you, know, you can make your own size that you want the text to be and let's go ahead and start now first you can start choosing the background color or you can leave it white as, as how it is so I'm going to choose a color which I'm going to I'm going to choose black and I'm going to go and click right here there's the bucket here there's a bucket here so hold it and we bring it two things that bring a bucket and this one so I'll click the first one gradient gradient, uh, gradient tool like here so I'll click on it alright now I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna click here and drop it down hold on shift so it can be straight so I like how it is like here now I'm gonna go in and put a text so you can my size is 48 and the the text is the black cork street straight std like here as you can see here. now let's go ahead and type in whatever video rm1 so and then click up here move to so you can move the text and then let's resize it go back and click on the text it's over right here the T1 then then select then resize it 36 yeah let's make it 36 and go back to move tool now let's go ahead and make it tall because you want to see a little bit image inside click on edit and transform scale the first one so you can make it tall right here and go back click on the move tool right here on the top okay now let's go ahead and find an image that we're gonna use you can browse from your computer or get an image from the internet this is the one I used before so I'm gonna change it I'm gonna use another one I'm gonna use this one with this one right here and I'm gonna right click copy image go back to Photoshop file new layer then it can make the size for you, you don't have to set the size it's uh, 477 and 319 it took the size of the image that you copied then click OK alright and then you have a white blank background now, now you need to click you need to hold on control V on your keyboard and hold on the move, move tool which is right here and then click on the up top here where it says untitled and minus 4 at 100% layer 1 RD, R, RGB and blah 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 then just take it and drop it here just drop it and then we uh, we then we take you here right then you see but we've been different 
different kind of they will be in different places but then you need to move the you need to move the image right here so how you do it just hold it hold it just take it then hold it and drop it on the other page of the, the page that you're working on now you need to go ahead and make the perfect size that can be the same size as the, as the text so how are you gonna do that hold on control T on your keyboard then you bring up these things right here now this thing is uh, for just resizing it just you know putting it in the right order yeah so then just put it down a little bit and down and now go back like, up here to move to apply now we're gonna need the image layer which says layer 1 under the video RAM 1 the text here so we're gonna take it how we're gonna do that we're gonna hold it take it down then the text will pop up so video RAM 1 it's up on the top and the picture of the image is down all right let's keep going now click on the, on the text with the RM1 like here at the top one now hold on control control on your keyboard and click on the middle like here on the T then it will select the, the text now you need to go and select invoice then we se select the whole background yeah you know what I'm saying now go on layer 1 click on layer 1 now click click on on your keyboard right click on delete then an image we get off you won't see the image now we need to go back on select deselect and then you won't see anything but you need to go here on the text you see there's an eye like here now you need to click on that click it then the eye will get off and then you can see the text right here as you can see the image is inside the text which is cool which I like right and that's how you do it then double click on the background then click OK so you can edit the background there's one more thing I want to show you one last thing now this is the background here. One one last thing I want to show you. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. So one thing I want to show you. I'm gonna show you how you can do this. Watch this. Click like click on the area one. Duplicate layer like here on the top as you can see. Duplicate. Click OK. Then click on the text just bring it down so this as you can see there's a two text right here now you need to go and edit transform they head down here flip vector vector then it will flip the other way now you need to click here after you need to click on the layer copy which is right here on the top of the layer one now you need to click here add a layer mask mask so click on that now as you click here right here when you hold it sometimes it will be like this just hold it then it will bring this up right as you can see it okay now you need to hold you need to hold it right here then dra drag it down up to the end of the text hold the shift so it can help you like putting it in the right place now go on opacity right here then like size it up to up to 26 and tada as you can see there is a shadow of the text and the text is the image inside the text see how cool is that okay thanks for watching this video and that's how you do it if you want to save it file save us and then jpeg and
and the setup like that or if you want if you don't like the background you just want a text just click on the layer 0 right here and just click the eye and then we get off but you won't see the shadow so you need the thingy alright thanks for watching again and please comment